Exactly in front of the bar, El Gazetto, or the Gazette. And there is this pretty sizable crack that is running up and down the street here. Residents have told me that this was caused by an earthquake. However, while it's related, it wasn't actually caused by the quakes themselves, but by the uplift, which triggered the quakes. The quakes occur when the ground uh, reaches its maximum point and there's friction between two of the faults and the ground moves. There's an earthquake. And maybe, yes, the quakes did cause some of the uplift because of the sudden movement or displacement. Most likely, this actually has been ongoing because of the continuous uplift here at Camp Flick Gray. Keep in mind that Camp Flick Gray is still continuing to uplift. These cracks here formed over the last, I would say, year. They weren't here a year ago. Residents said that these formed very recently, actually in the last year, during the seismic crisis that happened in August and September. Oh, sorry, September and October. The earthquakes increased in August and then reached their crescendo, their peak, at the end of September and middle of October. And then the earthquake started to decline towards the end of October and by November, the amount of earthquakes was significantly down. We've actually been below seismic, uh, below background levels for the last couple of years, the last two months. That's good. It's starting to quiet down. Most likely a lot of the pressure that was, that was going to be released during those earthquakes was, which is why it quieted down. Even the uplift has slowed down. My concern is that maybe the magma is going elsewhere. We have to follow the earthquakes to know where the magma or uplift is. Still, there's concentrated somewhere in Putzwoli, so we know that magma isn't really moving anywhere. The uplift is still concentrated in that area. It's not really the magma itself that's causing the quakes, but the uplift, which is being caused by the increasing gas pressure and magma. That's, that's trapped below the Pozzolana. These cracks is on the road. You can see that this is asphalt. Asphalt cracks easily. Here you kind of see that these cracks are a few inches wide. But you can see that there is a grade upward, that there is a slight grade. That was intended, that this is a bridge. But what is, where is most of the uplifting concentrated? It's the whole ground that's rising up. That's why these cracks here, look how they're moving here, see? You see how the ground actually rose a little bit here? Right along this road, and they mentioned the parking lot. There were cracks in the parking lot, which is, I believe this is the parking lot here. She mentioned to me that there were cracks in the parking lot for this bar. It's pretty significant. But when you look over there, no cracks. So yes, is this volcano due for an eruption? Yes, I mean, this volcano is very, very unstable right now. There's been significant amount of unrest over the last few months. It's quieted down again, but there is a concern that the next phase of uplift, the next seismic crisis, anything like an 82 uh, 285 could trigger a new eruption. It could be anything like what, trigger, uh, what provoked the eruption of Monte Nuovo just behind that building. I'll show you the, the volcano or the mountain. It's basically a dormant to possibly extinct volcano. Could be a monogenetic event, it means monogenetic or one time. So that's, it's very hard to see, but 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna come back during the day. Yeah, it's behind that car. There's Monte Nuovo right there. You can't really see it, it's too dark. You can barely see the outline. Yeah, you see that little dark uh, crap that's Monte Nuovo, but it's too dark, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking back, but you can see that the cracks from the uplift and from the earthquakes extend quite a bit. The peak of the uplift is actually right here in Rione Terre, or right here. This is Rione Terre. This is where most of the uplift has been concentrated. And if you look closely, you can actually see that there are some cracks in the buildings as well. Oh, the light just went out. Perfect. Just right when I needed the lights to be on. <laughs> okay. There's cracks in the buildings. A lot of the buildings are having cracks in them. Even the church over there is having cracks right near the steeple. You look, uh, no, I don't think that's a crack. It could, let me see. Yep, a lot of cracks. Yeah. Right, there's a crack here. It's running along town. A lot of, these could be caused by the earthquakes themselves because uh, there was, it was a magnitude four. Right there, see the paint chip right there? That was likely caused by the tremors themselves, not by the uplift. An uplift crack would be more like going up and down, down the middle. Most of these cracks could be caused by the tremors themselves uh, during October, I mean, uh, September and October. So. The ground here is mostly flat, you can see. Again, uplift related cracks right here. See how the ground is kind of here. I'm walking around seeing if I can see any more damage. Yep, right there. Look at that. Right there. More damage. More structural damage. See how it runs even in the middle? This crack runs down, down, down and then ends right about here. You could see how this crack runs along the building right here. And it goes up, 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 like that. This whole section is in danger of falling over if another big one hits. You see how structurally strong it is, but it doesn't look pretty good but they definitely have to investigate it looks like yeah this is definitely unsound but a lot of buildings are like the thing is that's why they're considering evacuating the town not because of the danger of an eruption but the issue with the buildings cracking it's not just one building a lot of them are cracking 90, during the 80 seismic crisis, it was a lot worse. This is just a mild case of bradyseism. This is what mild bradyseism do. Bradyseism does. Brady means um, uplift, uh, the movement of the ground. Brady, movement, a uh, seism of the ground. So, bradyseism. So, yeah. But most likely these cracks form because of the actual earthquakes, the possible movement of the ground. Because the ground is uplifting. You can actually see. Mm, a lot of cracks in the ground here. Uh, it's what's woolly. So, yeah. And these are relatively new buildings, too. This is all built after 1980s. So new buildings, new structures. Uh, experiencing some pretty significant 
I don't say moderate earthquake damage. Keep in mind, you had more than one 4.0. So. Uh, it yeah, so a lot of cracks in the buildings, likely because of earthquakes. A lot of these cracks that we saw are because of the earthquakes themselves, the, the tremors. That's what's causing these cracks. These are not related to uplift. At least one of them might be, but most of these cracks were formed by the movement of the ground during the earthquakes. Yeah, this all happened in the last few months. But they're not in danger of like collapsing. But a few more serious tremors, it could bring about a pretty significant disaster. All right, so ground here is pretty stable, but I am going back home now, oh, back to my place. Just But that's Rio Neterra. That's where most of the uplift has been concentrated. 